Now for more on blockchains and other financial technologies, I'm joined live from New York by Sean Stein-Smith. He's an associate professor at Lehman College at the City University of New York. Welcome, Sean. Evening. Thank you for having me. Now, we've seen explosive growth in the fintech sector, but slower, more regulated growth is on the horizon. We already saw that China tighten its rules on online loan platforms. What's the thought process behind this move? Sure. And I am uh, happy that really the overarching growth was the sort of underlying topic that you mentioned, because I do think that these changes and these increases in sort of uh, the frameworks being set up are due to that really high pace of growth. Right. And I do think that there are two areas. One is that due to this high growth, there are some companies in the field that just don't have the internal controls, personnel, or the training to handle the, the increase in this uh, business. And, and that as a result of this really high pace of growth, uh, unfortunately, uh, there are some un unethical actors in the marketplace who are charging interest rates of 40%. 50% and even higher. So I do think the, the overarching goal is to help establish a framework and a baseline for doing business in this area in a ethical manner. So then what are some of the opportunities and the challenges that come with a more mature fintech sector? Sure, so I do think that, um, that some of the key challenges in the business as it sort of grows and, and becomes more of a mainstream business is that the aspect of education, both from the employee side at the firms and from a consumer side, is a critically important point. Two, that the sort of weaving in of these tools and platforms into the existing frameworks, because as we both know, the sort of financing field is heavily regulated and has a large number of guidelines already in it. So the ability to weave these new tools and platforms is going to be an ongoing uh, issue and a challenge. And then three, the sort of opportunity and a challenge is that from um, a consumer point of view, the two of us both know that on our phones and tablets, we have many, many options. And so it's honestly going to come down to how many options that uh, these firms want to have in the future going forward. So it can be a lot for people to take in with different cryptocurrencies and then trying to understand blockchain. How are regulators keeping up with this rapid development in fintech? <laughs> it's a ongoing process because as with any new uh, tool or platform or a technology item that is having such a huge change in the industry, in the personal finance and financial lending industry, it's going to always be a, a process. But uh, from from my own research and sort of conversations, it really uh, appears that there are two main areas. One from a pure tech focus, right? Focusing on the ability to actually keep data safe. And then two, ensuring that these companies are abiding by guidelines and other transparency issues that always come with being um, in the finance business. And what are some of the topics that are really dominating uh, the FinTech sector, especially in China at the moment? Sure. So I would say that probably the, the top two topics in China and in other markets are ensuring that there is a element of transparency in this field, right? The ability for both on the government side and on the side of the individuals using it, that there is a element of, of transparency and that everyone knows exactly what is going on. And then two, again, sort of uh, echoing back, that all of the players in the industry are doing business in an ethical manner, both for the individuals that are, that are actually giving the funds to these online platforms and for the individuals that are uh, obtaining financing. Now, on the one hand, you have this growth of this fintech sector, and then you also have the traditional financial sector. What are some of the challenges or perhaps even the overlap that they pose for each other? Sure. So I, I do think that there is a big amount of, of overlap. Um, in these two areas, and that possibly the one sort of biggest challenge for a firm operating in a traditional sort of banking area versus a more upstart company is that these firms operating already have to deal with all of their legacy tools and training employees uh, and regulations while also trying to adapt to the to the changing needs of the consumers and the changing sort of regular 
regulatory landscape as these other firms grow and obtain larger shares of the market. All right, thank you so much. Sean Steinsmith there from City University of New York. Right, thank you.